everyone welcome back to my video in this video we are going to talk about the database diagrams that we have now i am in my visual studio not the visual studio i am in, uh, I'm in my microsoft sql server management studio this is my ide and i am going to show you the database diagrams now i am under my database diagram node i am going to double click this and these are all the tables these are just the test tables that i have created and we are working in the database name my balance shop that is the name of the database and these are all the tables they are just listed and they are all related to one another and this key as you know denotes the primary key and this denotes the, the foreign key okay so the way we do that is let's just create this relationship Okay, I'm going to create a relationship and I'm going to show you how it works. So I'm just going to hold, click and hold and drag the, the link to the primary key of my orders because what we want here is, let me show you one more time, what we want to happen is we want to set the order ID in the orders detail to be a, to be as a foreign key and you want the order ID the orders table to be the primary key. So that's what we are going to do here. So let's do that. Alright, so it has automatically picked up the primary key will be the order ID from the orders table and from the order details table it will be the order ID. We can have more than one order ID in the order detail table and there can only be one order ID in the order table. Okay. For example, a customer is ordering uh, something and the customer is having an order ID number, let's say 149, 149, and under the order ID 149, there can be many orders, you know, there can be many items. So this order ID will be assigned to all those items. Okay, I'm going to hit OK. And before I click OK, I'm just going to draw your attention to something here. It says insert and update specification. So here we can set the rule. If we have deleted something from the primary key here, what action has to take place? Is it going to be cascading set now or set default? If we set to now, then it should delete some value from here, then it will be set to now. That's how it will be reflected. Okay, I have created the video where I have shown this cascade step now set default in detail. So to set that out, I'm just going to hit OK here and there we go. Now the relationship has been set up. I'm just going to save it. Okay, the relationship has relationship has been saved here. Okay, now database diagram is really a pictorial representation of how your database looks like from inside out. So if you also want to see the data type of these column names, we can all do that by right clicking as in the context menu, go to the table view and instead of choosing the column name, you can go for the standard. So now you can see what data type the order ID is, what data type the verified column name is and if it is set to now or not and we can do a lot more things with that I'm going to switch it back to the column name that is the standard or the default one so that's about it that's, that was a short and quick video about the database diagram I hope you found it useful I just want for good day and please leave your comments down below and thanks for watching <laughs>